Uh, my first impression of this train station is how quiet and clean it is. I just arrived here in Helsinki, Finland on a flight from London and made the two minute walk from the airport terminal downstairs to the train station. Like many European cities, the connection between air travel and train travel is practically seamless. Try doing this in Los Angeles. Anyway, our mission now is to get from the airport to the main train station in central Helsinki. And I can already tell that it's going to be a safe, pleasant, clean experience. Trains to the city center leave from both tracks. They are called the I train and the P train. Either one works equally well. And they run very frequently. The next one arrives in six minutes. Oh yeah, and they're cheap. My one-way ticket was only about five US dollars. And then after we reach the city center, we need to make our way to another neighborhood in Helsinki called Katajanaka, if I'm saying that right, which is the location of the studio apartment that I've booked for a few nights. And it looks like about a 20 minute walk from the main train station to the uh, apartment building. Uh, maybe a little bit longer with all the stuff I'm carrying with me. Okay, so we have just arrived at the Helsinki Central Station. And it is 5.15 p.m.
The Helsinki Railway Station is considered to be an icon of modern Finnish architecture and the interior of the main hall is especially beautiful. Let's move over to this cafe and regroup to plan our walking route to the apartment. Here's the map I picked up at the airport. We are right here at the central train station. We need to get to this neighborhood called Katajanoka. This piece of land sticking out into the harbor. So we'll exit out the front door, which is facing south. Walk south for three blocks. And then head east on this major boulevard I'm not even going to try pronouncing that. It starts with a P. And then get on this street, Kanavaka 2, which the Noli Studios building is on. Easy enough, right? Oh, and check out this cool Finnish furniture I'm working on. And in addition to hard copy, we've got Google Maps and Maps.me on the phone. I don't think we'll get lost. Ah, the sun is out now. A perfect metaphor for leaving the world of airplanes and flights and start doing some real exploring. Look at the unusual exterior of this station and the two statues of uh, lantern bearers on either side, very unique.
All right, we're turning left on this street and heading east. I looked it up and this street name, Poyois Esplanade, means North Esplanade. Because as we will see up here, the street forms the northern border of a long linear park that people like to walk in, an esplanade. Well, I hope the video that I am capturing here does justice to this street because it really is a beautiful street with nice old buildings, with interesting architecture, outdoor restaurants and cafes, upscale shops and art galleries, and lining this uh, beautiful Esplanade Park. If you come to visit Helsinki, you'll definitely want to walk the length of this street and probably the park itself.
Po Yois Esplanade and get onto Kanavakatu. And a landmark at that location will be Uspensky Cathedral. There's Uspensky Cathedral, which I just read is the largest Orthodox church in Western Europe, and also a clear symbol of the Russian impact on Finnish history. And this street is Kanavakatu, so we are on the right track. We'll cut to this little park. It's called Tube Janssen Puisto. Puisto is Finnish for garden. Tomorrow I'm going to take a very full day exploring Helsinki. And without the burden of having to drag luggage behind me. That will be a welcome change. The brown brick building on the left is a fine example of Art Nouveau architecture that this neighborhood is known for. Well, I just discovered that there's a grocery store here in the neighborhood where I'm going to be staying the next few days. So that's good. First impressions of this neighborhood, it appears to be an old warehouse district based a lot on harbor related activities that's undergoing a lot of whatever word you want to use uh, renovation, revitalization, gentrification, basically conversion of these old buildings into new uses. My apartment building is right here on the left. I just looked up the building on the right. It's called the Old Customs House. It was built in the early 20th century, served as a warehouse, and today has some corporate offices and is used as an exhibition area. It's got a fascinating architectural style. Like this place, obviously an old warehouse or some industrial facility, and it's now a Scandic Hotel, Scandic Grand Marina. Okay, we have arrived at Noli Studios. Finally, let's go check in. Here's the lobby area, they've got a bar and a restaurant. Like more and more of the newer hotels and uh, vacation rentals. 
the check-in process here at the Noli Studios is completely automated and self-service. After you book your stay here, you'll receive a check-in code. You use one of the tablets here to enter your personal information and scan your ID and enter your access code. And then the system will assign you to a room and generate a room key for you. And your room key will let you into the secured part of the building and the various facilities available. Okay, so having been let into the hotel space, let's go find our room. And it's right here. They, they call it a studio, not just a room. So they're more like small studio apartments. There we go. Okay, I wanted to give you a room tour before I got the place too messy. So it's small. It's, uh, it's definitely a studio. But it's uh, fine for one or two people, I think. So you've got a little bit of a kitchen or common space here. You've got the kitchen itself with cabinet space, storage space. If you were staying here for a while, Looks like an oven, or maybe that's a microwave, I'm not sure. Got a coffee, pot, a coffee pot, a toaster, um, a water boiler, more storage space up here. Ah, oh, good, some cups and dishes. Up here, I don't know. Refrigerator, that's good. And uh, kind of an electric stove, I guess. What is that, a hot plate? So that's good, you can do cooking here. And then the bedroom space is up here. Have a look outside. There's that uh, warehouse building I was looking at outside. Got some closet space over here in the bathroom. Small shower, sink, toilet. There you have it. Well, after a long day of travel, it's good to be in here and to stay here for a few days. I started off very early this morning at my hotel in London, took the underground to Heathrow Airport, Navigated the whole check-in process at Heathrow, got a nice breakfast, boarded my plane and flew t here to Helsinki, navigated through the Helsinki airport, figured out the best way to get from the airport to the Helsinki city center, and took the train to the central station and walked the rest of the way here. Yes, it's been a good day. So the plan tomorrow, if you'd like to join me, is to get up early and spend a very full day exploring this great city of Helsinki, Finland. I'll see you over there.